Hi and welcome back to another lesson. Today's lesson is going to be about, or we are going to be learning about, what is a formula and a function in Excel? And what is the difference between a formula and a function? Very, very important question. If you do not know the difference between a formula and a function, you will always struggle in Excel because Excel is all about formulas and functions um, and along many other technicalities. Okay, so we're back on our spreadsheet. Um, quick look at the question of the day. So it's similar to what we are learning, but just rephrased into a question or questions. So do you know what a formula and a function is? Do you know the difference between them? Let's have a look. Now, the Excel spreadsheet that we have created together all the way from lesson one, we have used many formulas or quite a few formulas and a few functions. Did you understand them? You got to ask yourself, did I understand uh, which, where I used a formula, where I used a function? Do I understand that that was a formula that I used and that one was a function that I used? You know, you've got to ask yourself these vital questions because if you don't at this stage, you need to go back and revisit some of the earlier lessons. In another lesson, I briefly have already explained to you the basic um, difference between a formula and a function. But in this lesson, I want to break it down for you because you must understand the difference between a formula and a function. Okay, so first thing, or the first one we will discuss is the formula. A formula is very similar to maths. So if you are a person who is already very good at maths, you shouldn't really have a problem with the formula. So for example, when we worked out the total for each of these items in this column E, all these answers here, we used a multiplication formula, if you recall. I'm just going to use the first one as an example, the airfare um, total price. We used, if you look in the formula bar, we used a multiplication. So we did C3 multiplied by D3. Now, similar to maths, I could have said 99 multiplied by 1. It would have given me 99 as well. But we don't use the values in Excel. We always use cell references because if anything changes in these two cells, this answer will automatically update. But if you don't use C3 and D3 and simply typed in 99 multiplied by 1, this value will not change. This is why we use cell references. But coming back to the question of formula. Now, you can see it's similar to mass. The only difference is we use equal sign at the beginning rather than at the end like we do in maths. Excel is just programmed to have the equal sign at the beginning. By putting equals in, Excel knows you are starting uh, some sort of calculation. This is why we always have equals at the beginning. So that's the formula. I'm going to give you another example of a formula that we did in another lesson. So if I click on G11, this one here. Now let's have a look at the formula bar. Now this is a subtraction formula. So you can see E11 minus F11. So again, we call this a formula, but a subtraction formula. So this was a multiplication formula for all these, and this is a subtraction formula. Similarly, other examples of formulas could be uh, division, you know, to divide. It could have been A, you know, E11 divided by F, F11. That's also counted as a formula. Um, it could have even been as simple as E11 plus F11. That's also a formula. So they're all very similar to mathematics. That's the easy one. 
Now let's come to functions. Let's, have a, let's start with this one that we did. Now look in the formula bar. We used the sum function. Do you recall the sum function? Now Excel uses words within any of its functions. These words have big meaning behind them. They're not there for the sake of it. These words are programmed to carry out a certain task. For example, the, sum, the word sum, you are telling Excel to add up the range in the brackets. This is what Excel understands the minute you type in the word sum. So functions are amazing. They generally reduce time. For example, if I was to use a formula to add all these up, I would have had to do equals, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna show you a quick example, okay? So equals, I would have had to do E3 and then the plus sign, oops, let's get the plus sign in, then E4 plus, E5 plus, you getting the picture? This will, now this is a lot of work. Look at, look at, look how long this formula is becoming. I don't need anything there, press enter. Now look, I get the same answer. I get the same answer, but look in the formula bar, this is quite long. I could have made a mistake. I could have missed one of them. I could have done all sorts, but with a function, it is short but it's also doing the same thing for you because the word sum here, Excel will take it as you are asking it to add the following cell range to get the answer. Let's have a quick, I'm gonna get rid of this. Don't need that. Don't wanna mess my spreadsheet up, do I? No, I don't. Um, let's have a look at some of these other functions that we, we did. I hope you are as passionate as I am, by the way, um, with Excel and learning, um, because I truly love teaching and passing on knowledge to people. So please uh, stay with me and have the same passion. I'm sure you have, uh, what am I saying? I'm sure you have. So let's have a look at this average function. Again, in the formula bar, look, there's another word, average. So I repeat, remember, functions have a word in them. That is the difference between a formula and a function. Functions have words, and these words, they have a great meaning. Behind each word, Excel has done a programming to carry out a certain task. For example, this average function. You are telling Excel to work out the average of this cell range E3 to E9, these values here. Now what Excel will do, it will add them all up and then divide by the number of values to get the average. Just like in maths, we have to work out every single one of them and then divide by the number of values to get the average. Now, because you are using a function, Excel is doing it for you. You could have done manually, you know, adding these up and then divide by the number of items. You could have done that and you, you would have got the same answer, 125.8571. But you don't want to do that. Where you need to use a function, you will always use that. Where you use a simple basic formula, such as a multiplication formula or a subtraction formula, you would use that. So be wise, ask yourself, you know, am I going to use a formula for this little calculation or can I use a function to speed things up, make things more efficient? Look at the next one, the minimum function. The minute you put the word min, Excel knows you're asking it to find the smallest value in this range. The next one, max, because you put the word max in the, in the function, Excel knows you're asking it to find the largest value in this range. Look at the next one, 
because you put count A. Excel knows you're asking it to count everything between A3 to A9. Look at the next function. You put the word round in there for the function. It's asking, or Excel knows you're asking it to round up a value of a cell to a certain decimal figure. So functions are great. They reduce time. They make your work book more efficient. Saves you a lot of time. Okay, I think um, I went on there quite a bit. Uh, apologies if uh, some of you thought I did. But uh, the reason I did, everyone, it is uh, very important that you understand the difference between a formula and function and you carry this knowledge with you uh, forward to the next or all of the lessons that's coming your way. So to, before I finish, just a final recap, going back to the question, do you know what a formula and a function is? A formula, you could say, is very similar to mathematics, and a function in Excel always has a word in it, such as sum, average, min, max, round, count, if, and count a. You remember all of them? And there are many more other functions that are that is also available in Excel. And this question is kind of an overlap with the first one. Do you know the difference between them? If somebody did ask you this question, you would say, of course, I know the difference. A formula is like maths and a function has a word in it. And that word behind it has, has been programmed to carry out a certain activity for us. For example, adding a range of numbers, working out the average of a range of numbers, uh, finding the minimum value in a range of numbers, finding the maximum value in the range, uh, in, in, in a range of numbers, etc., etc. Okay, I just wanted to make, make sure it was a thorough lesson for you and you've understood um, the difference between a formula and a and function. If you do have any further questions, please um, leave it in the comment section and I will give you a, give you a more thorough answer. Okay, so if you enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to like and share and um, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you over in the next lesson. Until then, take care and goodbye.